Last Friday, I ordered an electric bike wheel cub kit. I don't know what exactly it was called anymore, but it's electric motor for a bicycle. So, I'll check again later. Aha! It arrived! <sighs> my electric bike, my electric bike. No batteries though. It's Friday. The batteries arrived. Ah, alas, the batteries, the batteries. So here are some of the pieces for my electric bike. There's a little controller unit here that uh, plugs into the batteries and uh, has a little key thing in it too, so I guess you can turn the battery off so somebody can't start it when you're not around. And a little, little controller that goes on the handlebars and uh, speed control with this little knob here. We'll see what happens when I get it installed. And these are the bikes down here that I'll be adapting. Or I should say, I'm just going to do this one bike here. I've only got one kit so far, but if this works out, I'm going to go to the recumbent also. So, rural roads with Roger will be electrified. I've already got the wheel partially put together. You can see there's a little cord coming out the side here. Um, all the assembly that was required here was to put tire on it. It didn't come actually with a, with a tire and inner tube, so I had to put that on. First thing I got to do is turn the bike around. It's kind of like a horse, I think. You're used to getting on it from one particular side and working on it from one side. I'm used to taking my tires off from the left side of the bike. So, we'll take them off and get that other one on here in a second. Well, the first thing I'm discovering is that the wheel is wider than what they said. It was supposed to be 100 or 120 millimeters wide. I measured that I had a good 10 millimeters to spare, but <laughs> it's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to go back and bend the little thing, a few things here to get it to fit. Also looks like the hub may not even fit in between here. So, okay, I got trouble with the first bike. We may have to switch bikes. Oh well, so here I am. I'm on bike number three. I tried the previous one. I tried this one. And now I'm on to a old Schwinn. It's probably the 1950s uh, coaster brake kind of a Schwinn bike. And what you know, I think these things were designed for Japanese or Chinese or Korean bikes or something, but they sure weren't designed for any of the American bikes. So at last, it fits. I filed. I sweated. It's a hot day. It's one of those 89 days and it's 70% uh, humidity or something. So whatever. We got her in there. The other bike wouldn't work because the tubes here bent in a little bit too far. So they actually hit the motor here. So that's the reason my other wouldn't work. And my old bike, the old Schwinn from the 50s, uh, I guess it was just so the holes weren't big enough in that either. So this one seemed to be the easiest to file. It's white metal, so it went a lot quicker. So I think we're close. Now just to put the components on. Just one more item. <laughs> this little washer here. It's got that tab on the end. It's uh, used to lock into the system so that the wheel, the motor, stays in place and uh, doesn't spin with the wheel. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit on there either, so I'm grinding off a little edge so that it actually fits. We'll get this thing working yet. That's where this little piece fits here. You'll notice the little tab goes in the slot there so that the motor spins but the, the bolt doesn't spin and therefore you can propel yourself forward. One more slight issue. <laughs> I needed an extra washer, so I not a bad deal. I mean, they're only a nickel or quarter. I just happen to have one sitting around, so I think we're set to go now. Okay, so we got the wheel on. 
now we're ready to put the controls on and this uh, the little controller box here for the, uh, the electrical part of it I, I got some tie wraps so I'll just put it on the bar here and then I've got the thumb controller here that I need to put on the handlebars here that might prove a little difficult because I've got a lot of shifters and other things on this mountain bike so this could be a little bit of fun uh, this should be fairly easy and then I've got the rack over here that I've got to put on the back for carrying the batteries so here's my bike I got the batteries on I've got everything wrapped in lots and lots of problems it's uh, 2 o'clock now I think I started at 11 o'clock this morning so this little project I thought that would take 20 minutes took a little bit longer I've been back and forth and had lunch but it's all set to go a little wobbly needs a few repairs yet the the rack on the back uh, wobbles a lot um, I had to tie wrap it because it's really not meant to go on this particular bike and other than that it uh, seems to work it's got a little uh, ignition point or a little on off switch that you can turn off and on so that somebody can't jump on your bike and take off without it a uh, little indicator here that tells you that it's got power here's my little uh, throttle control for speed and uh, cables are just temporarily wrapped in there right now but otherwise it's uh, pretty much set to go a lot heavier than what it was before I think it's uh, I thought they said 30 pounds but it seems like the batteries are 30 pounds and the motors 30 pounds but uh, I think it's less but in any case it's really heavy <laughs> here we go Well, I got my electric bike going, and I'm out on the rural roads. Moves along faster than what I'm used to moving. Well, I've got my hat, got my camera, a little special tripod system, and I'm out on the rural roads. So I'm on my electrified bike now, riding down one of my favorite areas that's out by Nelson Park on the north side of Madison, Lake Mendota. You can see the creek that empties into it here. Spotted a couple cranes off this area today. You heard them honking out there just a couple moments ago. So the one thing I really like about this electric bike is that you can actually ride it as an electric assist bike. You can pedal just as much as you can um, use the electricity. So I'm finding as I go up the hills, I give it a little bit more power, a little more boost, but uh, otherwise I can just use the electric power and do nothing whatsoever. One of the things I really do like about the rural areas is that uh, little rambling uh, brooks, little rambling streams, whatever you want to call them, but I'm uh, out north of Lake Mendota, north of Highway M, just cruising around. Little creek here, but there's also a little trail that goes around the area here, so you can go biking. Well, I'm trying out my electric motor and how it's going to help me get up this hill from that creek I was at back there. This isn't too safe. <laughs> it's working, but not too good with a tripod in hand and a camera at the end of it. Again, this is Rural Roads with Roger on my new electric bike. <laughs>